It's time for the buzz with the Queen Bee on the Devin Dixon Show. Yeah, it's time for the buzz and on cue, the Queen Bee rolls into the One Law Studio. And if you're new to this segment, we talk about some of the, the, the wacky, wild stories you might have missed in sports. And greetings and salutations, Rachel. How are you today? I'm fantastic. Beautiful day here in Southern California, as usual. I love it. I love it. Uh, this is your day off. Isn't Thursday kind of your day off? Thursday is my Sunday, and it's a lovely Sunday. You no, know, you do have a little NFL football tonight, but not the full slate on Sunday. But let's uh, let's talk about our lead story today. What are we going with? All right, here we go. So a TV station in Seattle Sunday night used a picture of Gary Payton, who is an NBA Hall of Famer, for the story about Peyton Manning, no. record break, touchdown record. Yes, yes, they did. And, dude, first of all, not only is he an NBA player, he's black. Peyton Manning is kind of white. Oh, my goodness. Some editor in the newsroom is going to lose their job. Was this Como News, the big station out there? Yes, it was. Oh, my. I mean, you guys are the go-to in Seattle. Come on. So, of course, it went, you know, viral. And Peyton Manning uh, tweeted it too funny uh, about it because, obviously, who the hell is going to not notice that there's a problem? Yeah, Gary Payton, the glove, he's like six foot and black. Peyton Manning, about six five, and he's in a lot of credit card commercials, and he's in a lot of record books, and he's on TV a lot. I don't know how somebody could not differentiate the two. Great lead story. I did hear about this, and I love it. I love it. We have not talked about it on the show until now. Good work. What's our next one? All right, so this is a sadder story. This is just one of those weird, bizarre things. So an Indian soccer player uh, tried to do um, the, like, uh, Germany's Klaus's signature flip stunt where he does, like, the um, the the front handspring and, like, going to a somersault. Oh. And somehow he suffered a spinal cord injury and died on the pitch. Seriously? Of, yeah, he died. It was, like, the most bizarre, 23 years old, totally healthy, just landed awkwardly and it's one of those things, like, how how does that happen? But it did. He actually died on the pitch. Wow. Wow. Just a reminder, just to keep the celebrations down a little bit. That's tragic, though. I, I, I did not hear about this one. I, I don't have a snarky comment for this one when somebody loses their life. Yeah, it was just one of those things, like, they, there's a video of it, but it's just, like, you because that's kind of what he... that's what you do in soccer, though. They either slide or they take their shirt off or they do like a triple backflip. That's what you do in soccer, that, and, and and the fans eat that stuff up. Right, which is yeah. He was just you know he was just trying to like get into it, and somehow it mm. just went wrong. And it's just one of those horrible situations. And you know, like I'm so sorry to his family. Like it was just one of those bizarre things that happened. Well. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say at least he died doing what he loved. I that's, I really the only thing that's I, the I can say. only upside to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on before I get any more depressed. All right, on to better, yeah, on to much better story. So the Cavaliers' Tristan Thompson, after uh, he was doing a an interview with uh, Fox Sports uh, sideline reporter Ellie Clifton, a super cute girl, um, she <laughs> Tristan Thompson didn't really want to do an actual interview, so it seems like he did something that was probably a dare. Instead of giving her an answer to her question, he decided to give her a super simple, super simple answer, wink at the camera, and went in for a kiss. Did he land it? No, he totally got uh, her cheek, and then he dashed off camera before she could say anything. <laughs> this, this is like something that you do in high school. Like, I'm going to kiss her. Oh, my God. I'm gonna run. Uh, yes, he you ran don't... away so fast. And she remained totally professional. Like, that was the best part of it. She was just kind of like, that happened, and went on her merry little way. Wow. Wow. I didn't see this either. Uh, but but I know who Tristan Thompson is, obviously. And Allie Clifton is super good looking, I, from what you're telling me. So I'm sure... I'm sure that maybe LeBron James or Kevin Love or somebody put him up to this. Yeah, I'm sure someone did. And I mean, he, while he was doing it, he looked like a little kid, like, just excited with Glee and, like, ran off like that. <laughs> it was so rude. Kind of like um, Jeremy. What, what's his name? Oh, God, I just blanked out on the next player. Jeremy Lin, like, when he was, like, getting his mom with all those pranks, like, he looked just as happy as Jeremy Lin. Wow. Like, totally gleeful. I, I mean, I guess there's no harm in that. I guess that doesn't really 
as long as she's okay with that, I mean, she's not going to file anything. I mean, it's it's it no, seems like kind of an innocent little thing, you know. I, I it's in, intriguing though and interesting. Uh, basketball players, if you ever make the NBA, though, probably not the best thing to do if you're put up to it. <laughs> just just saying. So there we go. So nice work. Um, so a nine year old Miami resident recently. Her name is. This is actually a really cool name, Illuminata Magpoto. She's 90, and she recently gave back to her community. She agreed to play in a one-on-one game with Dwayne Wade. As bizarre as that, and she met him at a local gym and let him like hang with, hang out, like hang out with her on the court. And um, so, yeah, I mean, they played one-on-one, and you know, Dwayne Wade obviously like took it easy on her. But yeah, it was just a really cool video. So this is a guy or a girl, Illuminata Magtoto. Is that a woman or a man? Is well, it, you know, it's the, a guy, and right? Here's the issue I have the report. The first report was that it's a woman, and then I saw the second report that it was a man. And in the video, you can't really tell. Well, it's still, yeah, it's still cool that Dwayne Wade was playing around with a 90-year-old. Yes, exactly. So I, I mean, sure you're, you're, you're at the local so local gym, you're working out. Hey, Dwayne, let's go one-on-one, me and you. It's actually kind of funny. That, and then Dwayne obliged and played him... Uh, one on one. That's pretty cool for for Wade. He's he's sharp dressed and he opted out, but he lost LeBron. But I still like Dwayne Wade. No, he's awesome. But it just makes me laugh because as a, like a journalist, like come on, there's so many details to get, but you couldn't get. No one can decide whether or not it's a man or a woman. Hmm. I have to <laughs> I have to look up the video on that. What's our next story? <laughs> okay, so there's this nearly naked calendar of the boys of Ohio State band. So as you know, back in July, Ohio State fired its band director after discovering that this raunchy band culture had come out and with these explicit songs and nicknames that are just inappropriate to put on this radio station and all this other stuff. So now the former band director, Jonathan Waters, is sued Ohio State, and um, the university recently answered in court, as part of the court filings, they mentioned the finding of their 2007 Boys of T. Rowe calendar in Waters' office after his termination, and this calendar is amazing. I mean, these pictures are ridiculous. They're so bizarre. They're not sexy at all. Like, I don't understand who had this idea, but it's pretty hilarious, and it's a full-blown calendar. Wow. Wow. I, I don't I don't want to go any deeper with this story because I don't want any visuals with band I, instruments. You don't. I, I really don't. I, now, leave I, it to you to find something like this and dig this up. I would have skipped over this story. <laughs> Naked Calendar Boys of Ohio State's band. Okay, I'm not linking to that one. <laughs> but oh, the Queen Bee so finds that fascinating. Let's dig into this. <laughs> 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 oh, next. that's my job, Devin. That's my job to entertain. And even putting that picture in people's heads is entertaining, disturbing, but still entertaining. All right, next story, please, please. Okay, final story of the day before we go to uh, let's say trivia. So Treon Harris, you know he's um, you know University of Florida. He was the freshman quarterback, and he, they did this interview with him like um, while he was being arrested for you know. Uh, sexual issue or, you know, I'm not going to really go into it, um, a sexual battery issue. And so during the interview they did with him, during three different times, he asked, so is this going to be on ESPN and stuff? And my answer to him is, yes, it is going to be on ESPN. You lose. <laughs> like, you don't ask the cops if this is going to be on ESPN. I don't think they're concerned. And the answer is yes. If, you do, if you're in the public eye and you do something stupid, yes. It's going to be on ESPN because that is the way the world works, and you need to deal with that, youngin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you tell them? You go, Queen Bee. That is Buzz on a Throwdown Thursday. When we come back, we'll get to a couple of your phone calls. We've got some trivia. Make sure and hit us up if you want to win some nice prizes. 673-9398. We play when we come back. It's time for the buzz with the Queen Bee. On the Devin Dixon Show. Yes, it is. Time for some Buzz Time Trivia. 673-9398. 673-9398. If you want to be the first to play. And what's our topic today, Rachel? 
You know what? Because it is in the middle of the World Series, I know we did World Series trivia last week, but we're going to finish off this week with it as well because it is World Series time and we got to be on topic. All right. You, I, 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 I want to uh, have you try one of these questions out on me. Just Can we do this just for fun? I know we don't have a lot of time. 673-9398 if you want to take Rachel on. Imano, Imano. But I, I, I want to go toe-to-toe today. Hit me. Hit me. Here we go. All right. What pitcher, the brother of a Hall of Famer, was the youngest pitcher in World Series history at age 19? Paul Dean, Ken Brett, Henry Matheson, or Joe ne- uh, Necro? Joe Necro, um, Henry Matheson, the brother. So, okay, Matheson, okay. That would be Brett, 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 Brett. George Brett, I'm trying to think, younger pitcher, youngest pitcher. I'm going to say, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Matthewson, Henry Matthewson. Incorrect, sir. Ken Brett. I was thinking of Lefty Matthewson. I, uh, Ken Brett, huh? Ken Brett. Yeah, All right, Ken I'm over. Well, let's see if our listeners can do a little bit better. Is everybody scared of the Queen Bee today? Where's, where's our Queen Bee? It's multiple choice. Come on, guys. Man. You are going oh, multiple here. choice. We are prefacing it with multiple choice. I've got NHRA tickets. I've got some pizza pasta factory gift certificates. I've got 18 holes. Golf at San Hollow, that'll save you a hundred dollars. What nobody wants to take, you know, that you have what been is wrong with everybody. You have, we'll get some callers in, but you've been pretty tough on our listeners lately. But we'll have some takers, and we've got one now. That's what, my thing. I, if it's easy, then what fun is it? I love it. I love it. Who's this? Hey, this is Brian. Brian, I love it. Brian's not scared. Here's your question. That's right. Good job, Brian. Which of these baseball greats did not hit at least 10 world? series home runs in their career. Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio, Duke Snyder, or Mickey Mantle? Uh, Mickey Mantle. Incorrect. Joe DiMaggio. Mm, Brian, thanks for the phone call, man. Appreciate it. All right, back to the phone line. 673-9398. Don't feel bad, Brian. I missed my question, too. And our next contestant, ready. What's your name? Jared. Jared, here's your question. Which World Series was the first ever that was won with a walk-off hit? 2001, 1989, 1956, or 1924? 1956. Incorrect. 1924, much earlier than people would anticipate. Yeah. I was thinking 56 was a good guess. I was, I was. Yeah, it, was, it actually was a very good guess. I, I want to give away some prizes here. This is tough. We're not trending up. Hey, it's multiple choice. Not like you know. I'm well, things out of the air. we're not done yet. You relax. Don't get too high on your horse. Let's go back to the phone lines. <laughs> Who's this? This is Jim. Jim, here's your question. Which of these pitchers struck out 12 batters in one World Series game and still lost the game? Orlando Hernandez in 2000, Pete Alexander in 1936, Jim Palmer in 1988, or Walter Johnson in 1944? I would, I would say. Don't give it. I can't help him. No! I'm already 0 for 1. Jim, what That's do you think? Uh, I'm thinking Jim Palmer. Incorrect. Devin, do you have an idea? I was thinking it was the Hernandez, but I could correct. be wrong. You are correct, sir. It is Hernandez? It is Hernandez. Well, it's a yeah. little easier when you only have three left to choose from. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Jim. Uh, goodness, uh, we got a couple more questions in just a couple more minutes, and we go back to the phone lines. Who's this? How are you? Good. Hello. Hi, my name's Craig. Craig, here's your question. Go. The Yankees were the first American League team to sweep two different World Series in four games. Which National League team was the first to sweep two different series in four games? The St. Louis Cor- uh, St. Louis Cardinals, the Detroit Tigers, the Brooklyn slash L.A. Dodgers, or the Cincinnati Reds? And you said National League, right? Yes, I did. Uh, the St. Louis Cardinals. Incorrect. The Cincinnati Reds. All right. Mm, so you were saying the first American League to sweep two different World Series in four games, which National League team had done the same, cor- correct? That correct. was the question? Okay. All right. I was just yeah. making sure. Just making sure. Absolutely. Uh, that's that's all the time we have. We got uh, no more time for bus time trivia. Yeah, I, I don't like goose eggs. Today. I don't like goose eggs, but Sports Center. Uh, coming up here in 20 seconds. That's the buzz with the Queen Bee. Uh, we'll save our prizes for next week. And again, next Thursday, more Buzz Time Trivia. Thank you, Rachel.
Anytime, Devin. All right, we got to take a timeout, get you right out to Command Center for a top of the hour sports center. ESPN Radio.